Leandro Cayada. Meli andos que velata ratelias cuparandia. Metelatos de la denda. Aito le parande cachetela. Oh, ze terrande cotayande la tela. Appreciate the name of the Lord. Appreciate the name of the Lord. Mesetili tikayande. Leando Setelandoa. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Bring it down. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Heavenly Father, we have come to your presence. Lord, mighty Father, come down like never before in the name of Jesus. So we disappear for you to appear. Lord, appear in the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Uh, I want you to sit down. God bless you. Today we are talking about God remember me. God remember me. Before we travel in the realm of the spirit, I want us to open our Bible to Psalm 106. Psalm 106. Psalm 106. Psalm 106. I will read myself. Verse 4. The Bible says, Remember me, O Lord, with thy favor that thou bearest unto thy people. O visit me with thy salvation. The Bible said that I may see the good of thy choosing, that I may rejoice in the gladness of thy nation, that I may glory with thy inheritance. Verse 6 For we have seen our fathers, for we have seen with our fathers, we have committed iniquity, we have done wickedly. And verse 7 says, our father understood not the wonders in Egypt. They remember not the multitude of thy mercy, but provoke him at the sea, even at the Red Sea. Nevertheless, he saved them from his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power to be known. Now, I want you to rest your mind. The first thing you need to know about God remembering is there is something that provoke that hand of God to remember you. There is something that need to be done. There is something that need to be done. Why will God remember you? What are your deeds? When you read that Psalm 106, verse 6 said, They have seen, the father have seen, children have seen, even they provoke in anger. But now they were pleading for mercy. Now, for God to remember you as you are, you need to understand the principle of obedience the principle of obedience the principle of obedience the second principle you need to make known is the principle of keeping his covenant keeping his what covenant now, what have you done for God to remember you? 
there are many christians nowadays they just need sudden miracle but they have not worked towards it the place of prayer is not there the place to obey is not there and i feel like uh when i look some christians i, I feel somehow as if they are just wasting time because going to church going to the place of prayer doesn't mean you're, you'll be remembered I'm not saying we should take the place of prayer away it's needed are you here? yes I want to take you to some certain junction before I just uh, pray but you want God to remember you now the atmosphere of your your relationship with God is it balanced how do you have a concrete relationship with God you know we have what we call surface huh you know surface when you I, I, I've eventually been those works those, those days we do you know I've done plumbing work before I, there are many work I've done those days <laughs> In fact, we did electrician, electric. You know, when we haven't find our destiny, they were choosing for us then, trying to tell us this is what you are going to become. Some of our uncle just come and said, "You have to do the work I'm doing." You know, just like it becomes a pattern. Sorry for digressing, but I have to let you know, it becomes a pattern. He said, "I'm your father. I, I'm still the one that remains your father. So whatever I do, you have to do." So if that person that uh, eventually i remember one of my uncle then cousin was doing plumbing he called me one day he said he wants to leave that work for me say you have to do this plumbing work uh, we fought like never before and i have begun to learn because it was not only him that knows about the work he already trained one of my cousins that one has become his boss so he wanted to train me again ah uh, we fought. Uh, but that's not where I'm going. Listen. I'm talking about them. We have not understand our destiny. But I want you to sit down and calculate. How I'm trying to emphasize some things about concrete and surface. So what I want to remove from that place then is that when we do those work, we, we call something surface. Uh, we have to lay the pipe beside, outside maybe the wall. That people will see, you will see it. And there's what we call concrete. We have to channel it inside the wall. We now lay down the pipe so that you will not see it. And water will be going there, everything will be settled. Now, there's what we call uh, the little way I've moved with God. I've understood what we call concrete and surface relationship. <laughs> Write it down. Concrete, concrete and surface relationship and you know the one of concrete under concrete we have the invisible the what invisible kai that one eh? nobody they can't understand the they can't know the the level you are with god but only god understand and knows that's concrete it's is not shown to anybody and is so strong but the visible relationship with god is the one we have nowadays the one we go to church on sunday come to church on wednesday go to mountain uh manners of program so physical ah uh, and that one now that doesn't mean coming to the church of God or coming to the presence of God doesn't mean that you are connected. It's good to have the two relationships, both physical and you see the, the concrete. Listen, the concrete relationship with God is you and God. Nobody's there. Are you here? Nobody's what even your wife is not there. Even your what? Your wife is not there. It's between is invisible and why am i saying this is that many christians they don't they have not done anything to be remembered from the beginning of their life to the present life they are they have not provoked the heavens 
as at yesterday to God who made me, I, I was not settled in the night. I was moving up and down because the way I am now, I'm not satisfied. Yes. My spiritual life, fine, is, I know there's God is moving, but I used to tell God, I need that to, I want to take up Nigeria first. Yes, I want to take up Nigeria. And I've not been in that capacity. So, I begin to push other, my hunger. Listen, for God to remember you, you need to increase your hunger. Write it down. Hi. You need to increase your hunger. The, the hunger will reach one level. Even the spirit of the hunger will ask you, uh -uh. <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> is this not okay? You need to increase your hunger. And there's, there's an advantage here. When you increase your hunger, it will affect all the areas of your life. It's not that maybe the areas of your relationship with God alone. No, every area. Increase your hunger. You look at it and say, no, this, I mean, two days, three days, four days, you are still on that thing. Say, Father, until I achieve that thing, I have one spirit within me which I would like to release to you. That spirit, eh, if I come to know something today, eh, I prefer achieving it now than somebody telling me next year or day before. Ah, I don't like people like that. I used to curse them. Go, 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 go. Tell me, ah, let's do it now. Ah, no, no, no. Now. I remember when we started the project of this place. Sir, Someone, I think someone told me, don't worry. And so I said, don't keep that, it's for you. This one, I came here with praying. Father, I begin to intensify. Pray to some level and begin to bring instants, examples. In the spiritual, I was actualizing it. When we came here, the focus was to just bring that uh, little canopy and put it here. Some people said, see, when we get there, when we put the, the canopy there, we'll be building the canopy and then maybe we'll extend the canopy. I said, God forbid. I look, I said, we are going to, I'm not a, an engineer, but when, when you provoke heavens, there's a place you become an engineer. <laughs> I'm telling you, you, will, you, you yourself, you will design that thing. And there's no how God will not remember you. Yes. So I sat down. I told the engineer man, this will be 40 by 60. <laughs> so when we started, the thing increased to 44 by 64 or 66. We started with 40 by, I said, increase it again. He said, oh, boy, he said increase this thing. Because I want to build, I build the capacity spiritually. I needed to actualize it physically. So some were looking at me and said, this person is mad. That, but we had, he doesn't have member. Is it true? That maybe he has like little, but they don't know the, because I already have concrete relationship with God. So I have seen what some don't see. That a certain time will come, even this place will not contain us. But if you tell somebody then, they will say that, I don't think you understand. Are you getting what I'm saying? So it was easy for me to navigate and tell the man that this is what we need to do. This is what we need to do. After then, even when we built the structure, I was still not satisfied. Because the hunger is not, that hunger is, is not the limit. The hunger is still far. So doing this is just like making an attempt yes so don't think we have not started i told you we have not started calling when we started the real calling uh -huh, you people will see one you will see and by that time maybe you wake up because i love christians who wake up their destiny because every day of your life as you need to bring out the mind of god oh god remember me for what that's the question why will god remember you because if God certainly remember you now as you are sitting down there, what are the things you need to do?
Is it rice and beans? Oh, you want to go and buy food stuff? After that. And wear clothes. Is that all? So, you need to what? Draw. Write it down. Have a drawing. So that if God will remember you to, there's something you must actualize. You have to have a drawing. And that drawing means vision. Are you here? Means what? Sorry for digressing. I want to come back to God remember me now. <laughs> because if I go deeper, 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 I, I will enter physiology and science today. I will begin to do mathematics before we know time has gone. Now, as you are sitting down there, please come and change the battery. What are you asking God for? What are the things? Oh, house, everything. But the first thing you need to do is connecting to your ally. Then you will understand the principle of obedience. When you can stay with God for hours. You can be there for hours. Praying. Praying. Father, remember me. And God will ask you, what should I remember you for? No, that is it now. Some of us will pray and we don't know the reason why we are praying. Because we are not ready already. We are not ready. God said, stand up now. Trek for 15 minutes. You said that. What is the meaning of the trekking? You okay? Say stand up now. Oh yeah, I want to. I want to send you to Yaba. He said, "Why? Why should I go there?" Or you obey? He said, "Now I want you to go and start a business." He said, "No, this is the what I want to do." So why will God remember you? Because it's possible you become the enemy of yourself. That's hundred percent possible. So possible. Are, are you here? Are you here? I don't want you to be lost. Now, we have a place we are going to. Remember me, O Lord, with thy favor that thou bearest unto thy people. O visit me with thy salvation. Number one, the channel that opens God remembrance, that opens the portal of God remembrance, write it down, is salvation. Is what? Yes. Salvation. The channel that opens the portal of God, remember. He look at your heart. It's just like when somebody is targeting something, an arrow is going somewhere and eat it. There's a reason why the arrow is going there. To capture something. Yes or no? Even if it is bad arrow or good arrow, it's to capture the life or to whatever. So, it looks deep. Your salvation. How rooted that salvation is. Balanced. A life who is asking God for connections, new beginning, is not saved. How do you want to undo it? You want somebody to bless you or you are in the front of your helper and ask you, sir, what do you need? You said, I need just, uh, if I start with 500,000. For what? That business now. Okay, take it. But you forget the spiritual aspect of, for every laid down business, if the business is not safe, write it down, in the hands of God, you are not safe. <laughs> if that business is not safe in the hand of God, so that is where we bring in salvation. Hi. The work of salvation is so deep. If I go today, we will not finish this service. Yes. So some of you, you started a business worth of 50 million, 100,000, 150, and today, you can't even account of 20 naira. You are still crying. God, remember me. He will not remember you. Because your 
your salvation is not channel with God. If you are saved, your business is saved. Yes or no? Oh, you are not here now. If you are safe, you're what? Uh huh. You are the contact to everything we are talking about. If you are safe, everything you want God to remember, you are safe. So God will not just remember your business and leave you alone. It means you will be an enemy to that business. You are not here. Are you here? Let's say the grace. Oh yeah, let's say the grace. The way you are looking is as if I'm punching you with a nail. Maybe you don't like it. <laughs> you need to be saved. The work of remembrance. Some people don't go deep down to the east. It started with salvation. Yes. And that is you and God. Because when you are not saved, it's easy that if God remember your business now, listen, listen. And increase your business from million to billion, from thousands to million. Uh, the devil can come into that business and steal because you are in the control. God only remember you call God to remember your business. Uh, so the devil can even use you, not coming with anybody, you to crumble the business. When you are not a robot that they are controlling, so you need to be controlled. See, salvation is from God. Uh -huh. uh, who controls salvation? god so you need to be controlled by god yes so when you are controlled by god you control the business it means god is controlling the business are you here you are the representative you are what you are what you are what aha so if you are safe your ah, your if the husband is saved huh everything under the husband is saved if the wife is safe, everything under the wife is safe. If the children are safe, everything. So the area of salvation can provoke remembrance. And that is why when you read some place in the Bible, the Bible said, you see, the David says, save me. Huh? Save me, O Lord. What, what, what did I say? Save me, O oh Lord. Is renewing his salvation. That I will not be crumbled by the enemy. Save me. Another word for saving is deliver me. Are, are you hearing me? Now, when you're sal Thank you, Jesus. When you are not saved... It means there's no way you can con be connected to even that good. Uh, yes, even a ten dollar. I'm telling you, you will get that thing for a while. It will go down. So they will just use it as a history. Say, I won't say why that man is rich. Uh, we know him that time. It's Darusha. What happened now? So, are you saved? Because that is where we start from. Salvation. You want God to remember you. Are you saved with God? Or you are exposed to the word? Are you here? Are you here? Thank you, Jesus. First Samuel. First Samuel. Mm. Mm. chapter 1 verse 9 we are moving to another level so Anna rose up after they had eaten in Shiloh and after they had drunk now Eli the priest sat on a seat by a post of the temple of the Lord and she was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept so. And she vowed a vow. She vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou would indeed look on the affliction of the iron maid and remember me 
and not forget thy handmaid. But he, but will give unto thee, unto thy handmaid, a man, male child, man child. Then I will give unto thee the Lord of the days of thy life. And there shall no razor come upon his head. Hello? And it, ah, don't let us go further. Our time is going for. You know the story of Anna. Hello? Hello? You know the story of Anna. Do you know that every day Anna renewed her salvation? Every day. Every day. She prayed. But one day, one day, she did something she has not done before. She took, after being saved, prayed and prayed, she took that level to covenant. Understand the principle of covenant can bring remembrance. Write it down. That was the principle. You know, I gave you two principles. Obedience and covenant. The principle of obedience and the principle of covenant. Those two things, they are its own. But the foundation that brought remembrance is your soul, salvation. That one is your cha the channel between you and God. And when God look at you and says you are not saved, why will God uh, uh, just put a lot of things worth a billion in your hand? Or million? But the principle of remembrance is, I've told you, one of them is what? Obedience. And second is what? Covenant. So now we are in the realm of covenant here. She did something. You know, she provoked God. When I look at that place, the one that was reading that place, I said, ah, the same God shot a wombo, not uh, Pelina, the wife of uh, Elikana. No, the Bible does not tell us that our mother or our father or one enemy. So, but to someone who is ignorant, I said, God is the enemy of Anna. <laughs> because God shot the... I want to digress a little. Some of you, you are fighting the fight of God. Let me, don't let me use grammar. I will not say you are fighting with God. It, God is the one that shot that thing. That thing you are calling God to remember. Because you have not understand the principle of what you are calling God to do. God shut that thing off straight away. He allowed that that person should just remain stagnant for a year. He's there. He knows about it. Because the person doesn't understand the principle. You see, it, it, we can't have everyone successful in this world. Oh, it's a lie. It's a lie. Because some are so arrogant. They disobey every day. That's why I tell the first, I'm coming back to the first one, obedience, but I want to take it from the second covenant. They will disobey till Jesus come. They are Jesus come. No matter what you tell them, they will follow their, their heart is so hard. So there's no way God will remember them. Forget about it. So this realm now I'm talking about is that God is the one that shot the womb of uh, of who? Anna. There are many glory that God has sought. <laughs> and you are just praying. You will go to mountain. Because you have not done the right thing. Understand until you have get to that line. And God says that now you understand the reason why you are praying. Then he will open the floodgate of heaven. <laughs> and they will begin to tell you that out of your belly flows the river of prosperity. Maybe twins, you begin to bond to, if you are looking for the fruit of the womb. Maybe you want, you want to start a business, then the business will flow, flourish. So, sometimes it's not your father's house or your mother, it's God. Some people don't know this, you know. I'm serious. You will pray like never before. You have not understand some rema about your destiny. Because if God should open that heaven today, you will be the highest wasters of destiny. Without even using gun. You will waste time. You will waste every resources. Somebody said one day, they said, when you lost 1,000 Naira for 
1,000 times, you have lost 1 million. Forget. <laughs> 1,000 error for 1,000 times. You said you have lost what? 1 million. How many times? I, I'm just trying to digress. <laughs> How you, as you are sitting down there, <laughs> how many times have you lost 1,000 era? Maybe you use the top rice and beans. Just this one. You, you, no, they say your bad proverb. They said the money you, you use to build house is not the one you use to buy chin chin. They, they twist it somehow. <laughs> it's a lie. If you lost, <laughs> there are some things that God has put in your hand. The moment that thing is going, the bigger one will not come. Yes. Because before you see any big thing become big step it it has the place of small it, start, it started small yes yes even this word started eh small the bible said and the first day it's not that he did everything in one day are you here hello i don't want to digress but i'm trying to let you understand some things now, covenant. In this area, Anna understand the place of covenant. He now bring it to reality. He said, God, he has been praying, oh, praying, praying, all manners of prayer. But the same Bible told us that God shot a womb. So me, I ask why. Hello? Me, I used to ask questions. I now sat down. Holy Spirit, why? Said, ah, because I've told you before now, the kind of child that is prepared for him, the answer prayer, the result is beyond Anna. So for Anna to lead that thing back to God, she needed to understand the place of principle of covenant. Yes, because the, the, the thing coming out from her is not just ordinary. It's a destiny, and that thing is God itself. He wants to come in in, a, ah, in in flesh. And that's Samuel. Because there's a purpose of that thing on earth. And that thing must germinate till eternity. So, and Anna was the person. Nobody can take the place. It has been destiny that Anna will give back to Samuel. No matter year a barrenness or a barren, she needed to give back to Samuel. She must. Is a must. It's not given to Elizabeth nor Mary. No, it's Anna. So God was in control. He shut the womb until Anna understand the place of covenant. Now, God is not saying, now you understand what I want to give you. You understand what needs to come out of you. So, the moment Anna understand the place of covenant, God remembered Anna. She now told God that if you will, she even identified not a female child, he said a male. Hi. She has so I don't know how many the, the Bible told us how many years she was barren. Eh? Hello. So she it took her many years. To go under the school of covenant before she now concluded to speak out. You know what you speak before you could say, I, I want to do this. Then you have you have concluded on yourself. Said, now father, I am ready. If you can do this and do, I'm ready to do this. So that was when God now knew. It's not that she, you just speak it any and said, if you give me this. She has suffered for it. She has gone to the school of suffering. Understand the pain. She has gone to the school of pain. Hello? Yes. She has gone to the school of mock, the mocker. Now, she now understands this thing and said, I think this thing that I'm expecting needs to come with covenant. Because the child is a covenant child already. Yes. So there is a step she needed to take. Now, she now came and said, God, not to a lie. Hello? Hi. And that, ah, whoa. And that is why she did not talk to a lie. She was talking to who? Ah, say something now. Huh? Should we say, Baba, we should go home and go and sleep. I want you to look as if you are here. Don't be confused. She, she came back to God to do what? 
talk to God. That, that is the realm of salvation. For you to have the access to talk to God, I, you must be saved. Yes. You can't just woke up and said, good morning, and, and your life is like that. Who wants to speak? She has the realm of salvation. She's been saved. Now she talked to God. Father, if you can do this. In fact, she asked for her what she wants. I need a meal child. Now, ah, do you know that if you are not saved, eh, all your wants will be opposite to the one God wants to give to you. Right? If you are not saved, all your, all, whatever you want will be opposite. Your need will be opposite. Yes. To what God has prepared for you. But the moment you are saved, your want, you will not know how it, how it happens. You will just be asking, Father, I need, uh, I need uh, a little, uh, uh, will I say, connection. I said, okay. And the thing will come. You will feel like, oh, I'm asking and this is, it's because you are aligned with God. You are saved with him. So, anything you want to ask, your, your spirit man will allow, will usher you to ask the right thing. You will never ask the wrong thing. Yes. Your spirit man will usher you to, uh, to ask the right thing. Even when you don't even think of that thing, you want to ask it, you will see that you everything you want to ask will align with God. So she was asking for a male child. How did she know that it was salmon that God prepared for her? Because she was saved with God. How did she know? Because the Bible said, God shot a what? There's a reason. I've told you. Because a male child is coming, a destiny child, and the name will be called Samuel. How did she know that the name will be called Samuel? You are not here. So most of us, most of you, you ask what is opposite what God wants to give you. That's why God will never remember you. Hmm. Yes. You ask the you, you are asking the opposite. You are asking the opposite. She said, "Give me a male child." Now she's understanding the uh, the scripture which God has aligned for her. The written. Now she is now understanding. Father, give me a male child. Ah. Now they said, "Okay, you, you got this now." I will return the male child to you. Ah. You got this now. And I will not allow. Did anybody give her message or prophecy? Huh? Now she understood. She got to the last. To the, to the, in fact, that thing was just like they gave her blueprints when she was dreaming. But before she got it, she suffered. She needed to. That's why you're suffering now. We allow, we usher you. If you can be saved, we, we blend you to the place of God. Yes. You're suffering now. That's your hardship now. We allow you to know the purpose if you can only convert it to. Gradually, you will now understand. So one day, you will ask God, I want this. He said, okay. You, you begin to understand. You ask another thing, okay, you are there, you are there. Another thing you ask again, okay, you are there. Now I should go and ask God that, uh, I want to build the, uh, I want to, just listen you know, I just ask God, I, I want to build a house for, for bar, bar house. They want to be drinking there. We go and start that prayer. Eh? Oh, you are not here. That's what I'm saying, as I am now. I should now ask God, Father, I want to go and build bar for you. <laughs> who, is, who is in the bar? <laughs> they want to be drinking. They, who are they drinking? Who, for what? But when I say God, I, now oh, I want to expand this place. So, okay, oh, we needed to open a center somewhere, okay, and is aligned with him, it will happen. That thing will be just, it will be happening as if you are, you are in charge, and you are not in charge. You know nothing about it. It's just that because you understand the place and the principle of covenant, it has been ordained. 
is between you and God. Before you were created, the covenant is there already. It's now for the actualization to come to reality. So, the next thing is that Eli came. Eli now said, are you drunk? He said, no. Why are you doing that? I'm praying. Okay. The prayer is answered. So, can you ask me, is that the first time Eli is telling uh, Anna, your prayer is answered? Huh? <laughs> That's not the first time. But Anna has gone to the meeting point with God. So, Eli just came and said, it is stamp. It, that, that is just a confirmation. Stamp, okay, your prayer is answered. But Anna has done the major thing. So now, what am I trying to tell you? Is that as you are now, you need to understand the place of covenant. It provokes remembrance. Yes. What are, some of you don't know the covenant between you and God. What he has written about your destiny is covenant. The thing he must bring to reality. Before you are created. Jeremiah 1 verse 5. He said, I knew thee. I know your name. So there are things. God, all what we are doing now, we are just playing it. You are playing the track. It has been written. But you need to know the next thing with God in the agenda of God calendar for your life. You need to know. And that's covenant. Because those things will come to reality. Until you know. If you don't know it, you are not moving from where you are now. You will be there 10 years. Because maybe your next level now is a place whereby you need to be sensitive. A place of, uh, will I become, you become an errand boy to God. You don't know. And you want to become a chairman. Maybe your next level of your destiny is an, it will, to become an errand boy. Be going up and down. You don't know. For you yourself, you want to say, ah, this is my time for rest. I want to become sure. Ah, you will pray like never. Nothing will happen. So you must understand this thing, principle of covenant. Then it brings remembrance. Number two, that's obedience. The principle of obedience provoke God to remember you. Obedience. Uh, and that's why I'm going to go to the book of Kings. The Bible tells us about Elijah. A prophet. The Bible said, and God took him to the forest, feeding him. It brings the bed to give him food. Yes or no? Yes or no? But God now told him, and I said, it's not that he cannot send another bed though. Ah, this God is so great. It's not that the bed was weak. Or neither the food is finished. But you know what? He wanted, as he wanted to balance, ah, the Yoba will say they want to use one stone to kill two. Eh? Ah. It's not that he cannot send another bed to go and feed Elijah. Or maybe the bed, that bed is tired. They are not tired. But a woman has been praying there in Sarafat. Hello? Am I right? The widow of who? Has been praying. But uh, this is our last meal. So they were holding hands to hand. Trying to redraw before. She could not eat the last meal. She was still waiting. Thinking, what should we do? Huh? Hello? She has been praying. Waiting. And God now said, you are going imagine. You are going to Sarafat. It's not that God cannot send woman being to give Elijah food. Neither the bed he has been sending. But now, he wants to use one stone to kill to what? <laughs> he said, you are going to Sarafat. That's obedience. Listen, if your helper doesn't obey, you'll be stagnant. Kai! Oh! That's a dangerous task. Some of you don't know it, too. If your helper is huh, the representative of disobedience, you will be stagnant. You need to be in the spirit net to, huh, to, to monitor that helper. Yes. If your helper is disobeyed, you will be stagnant. 
God told him, what if Elijah said no? Do you know the woman will just sit and die? The last meal and they will. Yes. Yes, sir. And you as you are standing there, let me, let me digress a little. As you are that, do you know that you are helper to somebody? Huh? Of course, there are consequences for those that disobey. Yes. But if you disobey and God make you an helper to somebody and you refuse and you are trying to delay that person, you are in dangerous situation. You yourself are in dangerous Your, It can crumble the 10 years work you have started. I'm serious. Not until you obey. So Elijah took everything and said, I'm going to Sarafat. She doesn't know the woman. They have never sit together. They have never God, just go. And when she got there, she locates that place where the woman is. And they ask her, what do you have? You know what he said? He said, I have the last meal in my house. Prepare it. Now, now, listen, 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 listen. Ah, for God to remember, do you know that the one who is waiting for God, huh? Prove to us that she obey again. And the saint helper obeyed also. Yes or no? You are not here. You, yourself, you are waiting for helper. You must obey God. There is something that will bring out that thing that you say, ah, okay, I have to obey. Maybe God says, sit down here. That's where I want to meet with you. You have to. And God, the, the, the saint who has been sent to you must also obey. Obedience brings remembrance. Because after Elijah delivered, Elijah's life was not, was not just like, was not um, empty. He moved again under dimension. He was also remembered as the woman was remembered because he obeyed. Because if Elijah did not eat, he may die also. He's hungry now. He has fasted for... Eh? So, for the flesh to come back to position and uh, everything, he needed to eat. And God knows that. Don't deceive yourself. You are fast, 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 and you say you want... You have to eat. Because there's something that carries the spirit hello 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 thank you jesus let me decree before 24 hours as you obey today the lord will remember you now listen elijah need to obey the woman also need to what yes sir So if you need help, you need to obey. And if you are the helper, you need to obey also. So they ask the woman, what do you have? She said, I have the last meal. Oh yeah, prepare it. She needed to obey for her to receive help. That's obedience. So the moment she obey, God remember her. And the prophet told her, from now on, you will never lack anything. Immediately. They don't tell us 24 hours. After then, they begin to eat. Eat anything. Eat anything. Maybe she will even become an ambassador of food self. I don't know. I, I was just trying to. Yes. She don't lack anything. Anything. Despite the, she released her last meal. So those two things, go and work on it. Covenant and obedience. It's allow God to remember you. Are you here? Are you here? Uh, we want to visualize it now. Because by this time tomorrow, you must come with... Anywhere you are, you must praise God. Huh? Eh? Huh? Eh? Hello, who I, I want to ask you first. Who is waiting for Samuel? Samuel. Thank you. You're waiting for Samuel. All right. Samuel doesn't mean that a child alone. Hi. It doesn't mean child alone. But the kind of glory that Samuel carry, who is waiting for that? Now you under you oh you now understand. 
That's why I don't like to speak grammar here. <laughs> okay. Who is the Anna here? Now, nobody wants to be Anna. Who is the Anna? I will know maybe you are waiting for someone. <laughs> huh? Nobody. Where is the Anna now? Where are Anna's? Anna, raise up your hand. Okay, Samuel, raise up your hand. Where are the Samuels? Oh, you are expecting Anna. Uh, Samuel, where is the Anna? Okay. If you are expecting Samuel, you are the Anna. And it's not, I don't mean maybe you are barren. Maybe you are looking for the. If you are expectant and you want God to change your destiny, as in you are, you are looking towards a big vision, who is aligned with God, you are the Anna. You need to pray. Write it down. What can be the motto, motto huh, for all this thing is prayer. Yes. The fuel to journey these things is prayer. If a woman can pray like that, have you ever prayed? See, I've prayed, I've prayed like Anna before. Even more than that. Yes, sir. There was one day we were praying on, I was on one mountain, we were praying. I remember that day. And I began to stagger. Like this. People were saying, maybe they have drank again. And that day, I remember I received something. My body was wet. That day, rain now fell again. Hi. I can never forget that encounter. I was staggering. It, it got to a stage. I fell down. Thank God I don't like my head. You know, let me tell you, when, when you go to some realms, huh, you can't control your body. Huh? Some of you, you are praying and you are walking like this. That prayer has not get there. It gets to some place in the realm. You can't control the body. Yes. Because that place you go to, there are there are chairmans. Don't let me use chairman. There are angels that control that place. They are the ones to control you now. Yes. The moment you get to some certain level in this place of prayer, in the realm of the spirit, you can't control your body. Those ones you meet there, they are the ones that will take advantage of you. They begin to control you. And at that moment, you will try. You see, some people just fall down when they are praying. Are you getting me? They don't understand. They are not seeing the physical anymore. They are in the other side. And ah, how many minutes can you use there? Some of you, you just go there for one minute. You come back and you'll not be there for one year again. Yes. Some, once they reach there, you, it's because you don't have the energy. Yes. They, there's what we call. Hmm. What we call Holy Spirit. Somebody say Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit can allow you to stay there for one year. More than that. Because some of you, when, once you get there, you may not use up to what, five minutes, you come back. They will just send you back. Or you don't have the energy. The Holy Spirit can give you energy. To what? To sustain your stay there. Energy. So some of you will get there five minutes, they will come back. The fire is too much. Come, bro. Say what happened? Ah. He has come back to reality. And before you travel there again, you know, some of you can take them five hours prayer before they get there. Yes or no? It's not from this place to Abuja. You don't need to drive any motor. But the only motto is what do I call it? Prayer. I told you now. The motto that drives you there is prayer. And without this prayer, and you don't just pray and pray, you have to pray until they take charge of you. Don't take charge of them. Are you here? Are you here? They will take charge. Have you seen the 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 all this? Let me give you an example. Those that enter the realm of the spirit, that they will say they climb mountain for seven days. Eh? And they will stay there. Eh? Do you know that they were doing something before that thing, before they, they, were they got transferred? 
Huh? They were praying. Some people, they can get there in 30 seconds. Yes. If you have the Holy Spirit. That's why some people, when they are filled with the Holy Spirit, huh? listen, when they are filled with the Holy Spirit, huh? I don't want to go there now. I want to take, some people have the access. Hello? They have the access to negotiate with the Holy Spirit. Once they are going to a far place, huh? because they allow the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is in charge of their bones, huh? their vein. So anything they want to negotiate with the Holy Spirit, hello, at that moment, they are in control. Because the, the Holy Spirit has sustained the flesh. I get it. So they are thinking now, it's about, it's what the Holy Spirit is thinking. That's all. They are move, next move now. Is what the Holy Spirit is what what to move. They are staying now. Is the mind of the Holy Spirit. So anything they want to do, they, they can be in charge. Those people now they don't need to start praying before they get there. Already, if you come to them, they will tell you they are already there every time. I see you, you don't understand what I'm saying. Hello, they don't need to pray before they, they are they are already they are prayed down a certain time, and that thing has take them there. They are there already. They are not coming down. Even if they are moving like as I'm moving, they are, they are there. Yes. They don't return. So they now become, you know, I told you something. Represent. Ah, now you begin to understand what I said at the beginning of. I, I. Some of you are not here. So you can, someone came to meet me. So, you know, I don't like to just. Be giving vision, vision, vision. I am not here. I do tell you, I'm not here. Hello, hello. We travel far. We just walk barefoot. I don't need to pray for you before I tell you that something will happen. Yes, we have got it to that level. Sorry to say. If it's for you, sorry to say, but for me, it's not sorry. <laughs> we don't need to pray. Say, if I'm just praying, I just want to do as if so that you don't feel like. Ah, uh -uh. is this man using juju? <laughs> That's because I know what you want to ask. Even as I sit down here, yes, I'm serious. The eyes I do look to see is not me now. It's the holy because it has become heaven on earth. Why some people they need to travel there for just ten minutes before they get what they want. Some people five hours before they get before they see so, before they see one thing. Why? we now like me now i don't need to travel uh, they are already with me because i'm already there hello hello so even if i'm ah, you are not here are you here or we should say the grace hello it's very easy for if if only i don't want to talk that's all but for me to tell you what is upstairs now i will tell you yes if only i don't want to talk I don't need to pray for 10 hours. 5 hours, I don't need. Even 1 hour, I don't need. Father, what, even as I'm seeing you like this, I can tell you something now. <laughs> as I'm here, I'll just look at you and say, this is what you need. Don't ask for this. Don't ask for this. Okay, should, we, should I give you an example? Huh? Let me start from you. Where is your firstborn? Huh? He has gone to work. <laughs> I saw two certificates in his hand. Two certificates. One is for lecturing. And the second, ah, Liba Satala. <laughs> no matter, he's going to have what we call doctoring degree. Hello? Hello. <laughs> should we continue? Eh? Let's go. You should continue. Where is he now? What is he doing now? now? Toyota. Toyota. Which level in academia? First degree. Okay. But I see doctor. They, they will specialize him as a doctor in that area. Hmm? Should I tell you more? Hmm? 
another thing is that if you have the issue of wife where's wife why I, 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 you want me to do an experiment now? Should I? I will do that. Around, though. I, I should continue. Oh. No, you say we should test it now. I will not pray. I will just tell you something. By this time, January. Listen. Just listen. Oh. Ah. By this time, January. Eh? I see a actualization of step of traveling. The that thing we just go. I want to travel. Just watch out. I, I will not say more. Oh, not only you now. You know. Okay, you know. You are. You have been saying it. So was it? January is the D. Forget. Who is the next person, Mama? But you waste our time. You waste our time. Ah, if we start now, I don't need to pray. I will. I will get. I will open your fire now. Now, eh? I show you your fire. Hmm. I show you your fire. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Eh? We should what? We should not go. Listen, let me tell you something. There was, I was one place. It's good to be in heaven. No? So sometimes they look at me and say, What am I doing? It's not me. Sometimes I got ash with something. It's not me. It's not, it's not me. If I to come back to that level and you talk to me and what you tell me now doesn't go with the spirit, we cannot work together. Even my wife knows. Sometimes we fight and say, this one, you don't need to tell me. You don't need to tell me. Some of those things that are going to happen in 2024, the Lord has played some of them for you. It's like, you know, it's when you're watching a movie, that's, I'm telling you, that's how I watched the movie of uh, Tinubu entering as a president. They said, I'm lying. Okay. Very clear. So what do you want to know now? But do you know that I can take you to that realm now? And you begin to see. Oh, let's do that on Wednesday. Uh, will you come? Hello? Are, are you ready? Serious? And I'm serious. Wednesday, I should take you to heaven. So that you will see something about your destiny. Even if you are not saying you will hear. And the only access, number one, you have to be saved. Number two, ah, we will bring the Holy Spirit. Some of you, the reason why you have not get there to stay is that your character is bad. It's even bad than Lucifer. <laughs> yes. So bad. There was one day, a woman went to somewhere to go and do chant. So that I will not see her. She was with us then in the ministry. I will now look at her one day and I say, What do you want to go and do in that Baba? They say, Where? He was speaking. I said, Okay, no problem. And I told her, I've seen you already. It went there that if I see her, they sh I should not see anything about her. Because I've been telling her some things, as been, she's trying to hide it. Say, How did I know? So some of them, they were on. He got to a stage in the ministry. Ah, go ask if you get to Murebishi. When we are still in that small church, that where we started it, there was these people that called me. He said that they will not come to church again, the program, because I used to expose them. I, my man know what I'm saying now. He said, I don't know how to, that I'm supposed to be telling them in the counseling area. And me, I'll just come and tell this one. He said, I expose them. So I now withdraw that realm. So a woman, one Yibo woman, talk. Now I said, are they the one that call me? That I should continue that. I said, ah, because uh, they want to reduce the grace of God in their life. 
So I was looking at them, how they want to rot. He said, seriously, they gathered together. They said, uh, sir, why are you saying all these things in the program? He said, that's how the Holy Spirit said, I know that I should come to cancel it. I should not expose them. There was one who came one day, I told her, Yo, you, you have a man friend. He said, no, not me. I said, okay. Before you get to, he said, eh, after the service, after the said, later, later, later. She usually don't want to cover it. So that I will not, and I've seen everything. The Lord will change your eyes. Oh, you are not saying amen. A louder amen. A louder amen. Amen. A louder amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Stand up on your feet. La ba supra kata la ba lo shete telikete bro. Kala bo serendo skerande kurande koskupaya. Le tai tola. Rabas keteliata. Le prokas kadelando sketeliando shete. Father, remember me. That's your prayer.